Hello there, people who have access to the internet and who are currently using it to watch this video. My name is Pun Food, or just Pun if you prefer. And I guess we're gonna go in here. Um, I'm just gonna try to do the first three stars of every level um, until I eventually get enough to unlock Wing Cap. Uh, right, no ground pound jump. Okay. Oh my god. No. I think the main thing I ha hate is that I don't feel like Mario runs in the direction I want him to run in. Um, and the camera is always annoying. That coupled with the fact this game is older and just has some wonky hitboxes, you know. You know, I'll, I'll give it that, you know, it is like the first real 3D game that everyone credits as being, you know, sort of the start of it all. But, like, I don't think that's a good reason to say that it still holds up, per se. Like, you can still enjoy it, it can still be fun for you, but coming from a modern player, you know, from the modern, from the current, you know, from the young generation, whatever. I don't think the game really does hold up. Um, you know, it might still be like, well, you know, I can still have fun playing it. That's good for you. I don't. Maybe it's a me thing. Maybe it's just me who struggles with, <sighs> come on. Maybe it's just me who struggles with the game so much and always feeling like the controls are not working with me. You know, maybe that's the expectation and maybe, you know, whatnot. But I think, I don't know, in an era where I'm fine with difficulty. I don't personally like difficult games, you know, but... I don't necessarily back away from a game just because it's difficult, you know. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed Hollow Knight, you know. I wouldn't say it's the most difficult game, but it's more difficult than what I usually play. Um, I play games mostly just to have fun and personally struggling through a bunch of challenges for, like, the entirety of the game isn't my idea of fun. Like, in Kirby it can be fun, but, like, not for the whole game. You know, Kirby balances it where it's like only the last couple hours of the game are actually difficult. This game, I don't think it's necessarily difficult outside of the controls always feeling like they're working against me. And that's not really true difficulty in my opinion. Um, I think it's more so... I think the thing is, is I can deal with some difficulty. I can't deal with when the difficulty comes from the fact that the controls just don't really work with me. In my opinion, I'll get upset when a game... Like, I bought Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I still haven't beaten Sunshine or, you know, fully gone through this version of Super Mario 64 yet. Because it's just not... Um, I need to grab this. Where are we going? Plunder in the sunken ship. Okay. Um. It's like, look at this. I'm trying to, uh, get over here. I get it, water levels suck, but like... How does this guy leave? Ow. I'm gonna die. I'm straight- okay. How do I get this guy to leave? Do I, like... What do I do? No, seriously, what am I supposed to do? Okay. I 
can't punch underwater. Oh my god. Isn't it just like get near him? Or something? Well. I can't really breathe. I'm gonna die probably. Yep, there we go. Oh, that's stupid. Um, it's like underwater trying to control the camera and where you're swimming. Ugh. No, I prefer it when the underwater swimming is just like, um, I prefer it like an odyssey where it's just basically jumping underwater. I still think water levels are such a departure from Mario gameplay, but like, I don't know. Okay, give me that. How do I get this guy to move? Um... I can't figure it out. Uh... How do I get him to move? Oh, uh, God. Okay, let's restore our power meter. Then... Oh, did he move? When did he move? That's stupid. Okay. Hold on. Let's grab the air. The switch is down here, right? Oh, it's one of these treasure chest puzzles. How am I supposed... To okay. How was I supposed to know that that was the wrong one? Oh my god. Okay, give me that. Um... I wish there was some sort of clue. Uh, I guess it's just trial and error. Maybe there was. Maybe one of the signs at the start said something about, like, oh, get the, um... I don't know. Okay, give me the air. Okay. And then... Second air. Give me the third air. Controlling underwater is so rough, even rougher than controlling on land. And now the camera is just not cooperating. Okay. So I need to get up here. Okay. Cool. Well, that's stupid. Because I can't even see where I'm supposed to be going. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I even wall jump? Whatever. We made it. I think the Mario is too slidey in this game. It's a major problem. Here we go. I don't know. I think a lot of this is probably just a me issue and not like a... You know, Super Mario 64 has aged poorly. But part of me wants to say... 
I can't possibly see how some of this stuff is not aged poorly in some people's eyes. Like, I get that they grew up with it, but it's like... I don't know. I mean, I, again, I don't think it's all of... I think Super Mario 64 is like... Story, I guess, if you could call it that, you know? Is like... And like, general structure isn't to my taste. But I wouldn't necessarily say that the entirety of the game, like, is bad conceptually. Um, rather, I would just say I would rather just say that, uh, okay, please get me here, please get me here, please get me here. I'd rather just say that the controls are very much not very fluid or even good. Controlling Mario feels way too, let's say difficult. Where'd the eel go? What's going on? And now I just feel like I can't even use the camera to search for what I want. Okay. Can I... Where... Can you... Ow. I grabbed that. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? I can't find the stupid thing. Oh my gosh. Stupid. Mamma mia. Like... It's it's hard when I'm playing a 3D game and I struggle a bit with depth perception. Especially when the hip, like... I think, like, I don't mind 3D games, and that's because in, in Kirby and the Forgotten Land, they adopted a policy of some if something looks like it hit an enemy, it hit an enemy. You know? But, like... You know, regardless of hitbox. But... Um, in Super Mario 64, I think a lot of the hitboxes are weird. I think the control scheme and just the general camera... I think the camera is a lot of it, but I still think Mario controls a bit too slippery, personally. Um, like, I can't see anything with that camera angle. There has to be some way I can get it to a better angle. Okay. Okay. Ow! I didn't even touch it! Okay, I'm going up. If I don't, I will die. Ugh. So stupid. Okay. I wish I could actually, like... Somehow... <sighs> Come on. Trying to manipulate the camera is a bad idea. The default camera isn't good, but, like, manipulating it isn't really any better. Can I... Look up? Thank you. Okay. Can I please grab it? Oh my gosh. How? 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 Ow. Oh my gosh. 
This is so stupid. Water levels suck. This game sucks. <sighs> like, people don't struggle with this game, right? Like, they say, you know, it's one of the best games of all time. They say that some stuff is annoying. But they say it still holds up. I, I disagree. Like, you know, better judge of depth perception. You know, sure, we have shadows, but at least let us use the camera to actually see what we're doing. You know. Anyway, I'm gonna have him come out, and then I'm gonna go up for air. <sighs> oh my god, most of this episode is just gonna be spent here trying to get the star while I can't even see where I want to see because the stupid camera. Okay. Well, actually, this might be... Somehow that counts? It doesn't hurt me by touching its tail? Oh my god. I don't know if it's just the water levels or if it's all the game. I think it's all the game. Mario's way too... He skids... He, like, slips too much. Whatever. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. I know where this one is. Although I don't really remember... ...much about the details of it. Uh... I know I'm gonna have to come back once I, uh, get some of the, uh, power-ups unlocked, but, man. Okay. I wish I could actually see what was going on. I think the problem I have with DS is DS is better, but the camera still kind of sucks, honestly. Alright. I wish I could just read a sign by pressing A. No entering this cave. Okay. I wish, again, that I could see anything around me. Aside from just... Stuff. Okay. Do you tell me the password? Or what order? Oh my god. Can I just... Hoy. The right order. I'll never tell. That's bad game design, by the way. Just having you guess which one is the right one. Okay. I guess it's up here, over here. The good game design, at the very least is once you figure out that the one in the back is the one you need to open, you can maybe deductively figure out that it goes from back to front because this one's furthest, then this one, then that one, then that one. Um, but still, like, that's just not telling you, giving you any hints about the order, even in, like, a riddle. I don't know. I get it's, like, an old game, but it's just, like... I think my take on it is I don't see how a game can hold up if, you know, it might still hold up for people who grew up with it, but I don't see how a game can hold up if, um, oh my god, I don't see how a game can hold up if, okay, I do need to, uh, I do need to, uh, not miss the red coins. I always struggled with this mission, um, in playing the DS version. Like that, I always miss some of the red coins. Okay. I'm always flying too high, accelerating too much. Where's the... 
Whatever, let's just reset the mission. I think the camera is the main thing that I'm just having trouble with. Um... Yeah, blah blah blah, I need to do that. Okay. Okay, we don't want to gain too... Go down too much, otherwise then I'll do the wahoo waha thing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. No, no, no! No. God. I can't even see what's below me. I'm gonna assume there's ground here. That's stupid. Whatever. I did the thing at least. So now... I guess I have to reset if I want to get this star. So stupid. Alright. Try it again. <laughs> I think the wing cap is like possibly one of my least favorite Mario power-ups of all time. Just because it doesn't control very well. Or maybe it's just the camera not allowing it to control very well. Alright. Well, I already missed some. Stupid, we're just gonna do this again. I don't know how anyone thought that this game, you know, was ever easy. Like, the controls work, the camera, I guess, mainly, works against you in so many ways. Like, you know, and then, like, you can't turn super well either um and um it's all just very why is Mario constantly no 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I might be able to get those last two coins just by... Nope, okay. Guess I'll need to try again. <sighs> okay. Wing cap stage is very stupid. Maybe that's just my opinion. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, like, I think with the wing cap, it's mostly a me thing for sure, because I think the controls on the wing cap are actually, I don't know how I would make them better. Maybe just design a better power up. Design one where you can gain more altitude to make some of these things, some of this easier to get. Like, but like, yeah, I don't know really how much you could improve on this. Aside from maybe making it so it's easier to align yourself with where you need to be to get the coins, maybe just make it so that it feels more fluid. I don't know. The problem is, it's like, yeah, I understand that they were working in 3D for the first time. And that, you know, game design isn't easy, especially when you have to do it for the first time. But, like, I don't know, I guess... All I'm trying to say is that this game does not hold up. That's really the argument I'm trying to make. Um... Well, I don't know if I'm trying to make it so much as I just, like, feel like I hear that so often. Super Mario 64 still holds up to this game. Not this game. To this day. 
And I always have to be like, no, it doesn't. You know. I'm not saying it's way too difficult for a modern audience. I'm saying the controls are way too infuriating. Um. Like. You may have been able to deal with it when you were a kid. That's great. Good for you. But I shouldn't have to deal with the controls. The controls should work with me, not against me. <sighs> We're back here again. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't. Um... Anyway... So... Nope, that's bad. Come on, come on. I can't even see where the coins are to even potentially try to re go back and get them. <sighs> it's a lot of the camera. Some of it is this sliding that Mario does. But... I don't know. Okay. There we go. Nope. Okay. Well, I, I actually was able to turn back for them this time. Let's just hope that it doesn't... Oh my god. Okay. Nope, they don't give you enough time to turn back if you miss them. <sighs> okay. Like, I don't know. As an introduction to 3D gaming, Super Mario 64 does a lot right. I think the problem is as an introduction to 3D gaming. Um, like, but as, like, I don't know. For me, if some game holds up in this day, to this day, you should be able to say that you should be able to like release it in the modern day, and people say this is a pretty good game. I don't feel that way about Super Mario 64. I feel that if you release Super Mario 64 in the modern day, like tomorrow, if you were to release it tomorrow. A lot of people would say, you know, how did Mario get here? You know, why why are the controls so janky? Why is the camera so, you know, off? Compare that to, let's say, I don't know. I would say that, in comparison, you could probably release... Pokemon Emerald or Pokemon Diamond and Pearl like tomorrow and we're gonna just assume that like you know the Sinnoh Pokemon haven't existed um just never came to be they skipped Gen 4 they went straight to Unova or they skipped Gen 3 they went straight to Gen 4 whatever right I'm just gonna make the claim that Sinnoh or Hoenmon whatever version you know Emerald or Diamond and Pearl, I'm gonna say that, you know, that generation of Pokemon never technically happened, and they skipped right to, like, Gen 5 or whatever, right? So, under that, I would say you could release Generation 3 or 4, maybe even, and, and Gen 6 or something, in the modern day and age, and people would still say, yeah, this seems like, you know, a decent game. Granted, Pokemon, you know, like, X and Y got a lot of criticism for not really having a post game, but I think that, you know, I think if they released Gen 5 today and never existed in the first place, we'd have, A, a different perception of Pokemon. But let's say perception was mostly the same, but if you released Gen 5 today, people would say, that's a good game. Because they still do, and I still think it's a good game. Because I think what's good about it is that the controls are fine it may and it still actually has a decent scope you know maybe it's like wait we've had 3d pokemon for a while but maybe people would be glad to return to 2d 
they would be like, yeah, 3D Pokemon has been kind of weird and buggy. It's nice to have this quality Gen 5 experience. You know, is that a bit biased? Because a lot of modern Pokemon fans, you know, don't know what they want out of a Pokemon game. Sure. But I would also argue that you could probably release mm, maybe A Link to the Past. You could definitely release A Link Between Worlds, but that one only came out like 10 years ago. Um, I would argue that you could probably release, um, like, what's a good, um, what's a good, what do you want to call it? Like, I can't think of any other games off the top of my head that, like, you could release on the modern day and people would still say, that's a good game and not so much a product of its time. I think Mario 64 is a product of its time, not a game that still holds up. Like, yeah, it still holds up in that if you played it before, you can go back and have fun, you know. But I think if you're brand new to the game, the controls are just a bit too frustrating and generally, some of the design philosophies are a bit different than what modern audiences have come to expect. I don't know. Is it just uh, me being young and, you know, like, you know, NES and then 64 games were way too difficult? Probably not. I honestly do think that it is just a case of people grew up with this game, so they're used to it. The controls and some of the more jank stuff that happens. I definitely think that a lot of the design principles and stuff still kind of hold up, and you can see them in Modern Mario, but I think that's just it. They're more so ground... or I, that that's just it. Doesn't really make a lot of sense as a segue. But I think that in Modern Mario, they're more so things to, like, that they're always in the back of the head of the designers. Not so much, you know, core parts of the principles, but rather they sort of got built upon with Sunshine, and then they got built upon with Galaxy, and then they got built upon with Galaxy 2, and 3D Land and 3D World even. And at this point, we're so far removed that, yes, you can still see some of the Super Mario 64 principles and design philosophies in there, but they're more so as a basis for a design philosophy that's so far removed that like yeah it's still there but like it's they're not really looking at Mario 64 so much as they're looking at what they built off of from Mario 64 I don't know people say it was still it, it was innovative and some of the stuff is still being used to this day I think that's true but does that mean that the game itself is a game that people still that new players to it would want to come into and say, yeah, this is a good game. When they consider the time period, maybe. But if they release Super Mario 64 tomorrow, no. I think people would be like, what was Nintendo thinking? I don't know. Even if it had a graphical update, if the mechanics, controls, hitboxes were all still the same, I think a lot of people would get frustrated and say, Maybe some would say they finally made Mario difficult, but I definitely think that a lot of people would be like, you know, no, they didn't make it difficult, they just made the controls bad. I don't know, just my opinion. Uh, I'll probably have more opinions next time, but for now, my name has been and will be tomorrow, and the day after that, 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 and it always will be pun food. After the first episode, I was like, I don't know, I'm really frustrated with the controls. I don't know if I want to continue, um, what do you want to call it? Recording this, or playing this game. Um, and I said, no, I'll, I'll do another episode. And after this episode, I'm thinking, I don't know if I want to do another episode. Uh, the controls are so frustrating. Uh, luckily there's only three more stars, seven, uh, 
there's only a few more. We got like half a stars in Jolly Roger Bay. Um, and there's only one other water level. There are some levels that have water sections, but only one other distinct water level. So, thank God for that, but man, I, this game is just, I don't like the camera, I don't like the controls, and I don't like some of the, how Mario feels to control.